Hello everybody, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye. So last time we figured out, among some other things, that the strangers made some pretty big sacrifices in order to get here, and they were quite upset with what they found. In fact, as far as sacrifices go, they destroyed their home planet to get here. And then they realized that the eye was uh, something that was going to destroy the universe, and they didn't like that very much. We also, however, discovered how exactly, at least I believe, to free the, uh, I guess the stranger, I don't know, who, to open the sealed vault is what we figured out how to do. So what should be the case, I'm getting a phone call, get that later. Oh, wait. I'm going to have to be dead, aren't I? Is that what I said? Huh. That's right. Because there's going to be a... Uh, when we get there, that one tower... There's going to be two towers that, like with the light thing, that light effect. So am I going to have to be dead when I get there? I'm not sure. But I think... That's the only thing that makes sense. Unless there's a way, like a combination to put in. You know what I mean? Because there's, there's those three towers. But I haven't found any combinations yet. Well, I'm going to try it this way. I mean... Worst that could happen is we find out something. Right? So... Ah, there we are. All right, so the only thing I have to do right now is to get to a boat and fall off in the middle of the loading sequence between uh, realms, which sounds easy enough, uh, except I can't remember where the boat was on this first level. Can I get some candles in here, please? Thank you very much. Dang. All right, now I can freaking see. Fucking bebop, bebop. But shut that off and then we should be good to go and like I said I am a dead boy right now so hopefully that doesn't like impact the ending or what I get but I guess we'll just have to see alright thank you very much loading screen time I'm gonna dip out oh and that would be my spot I don't really think there'd be a purpose in walking over to any one of these uh, other areas Unless that's where the codes are, but I'm just too excited, baby. Let's get in here and see what we can do. All right, this should do it for one of them. Yeah. And we figured out that we can, if we go outside the simulation, we can see where exactly those invisible bridges are. Which is useful because that combination over here actually like serves a purpose so I didn't notice that text there before uh yep there we are perfecto all right now hopefully at some point we'll be able to like read these but I don't know I don't even know if I can equip my uh, translator while I'm in here with uh, with this lantern on me or with this artifact rather Come on, a little bit faster. The suspense is killing me. Blow that one out. <laughs> one more, baby, one more. Uh, I hope I don't fall off the edge of this because that would be quite unfortunate. All right. You freaking lads ain't having no effect on me. Because I'm dead and I can't hear anything. All right, last one. <laughs> Mm, okay, so do tell what is it that was so I don't know I don't want to say it was terrible but like what the fuck did they lock up especially only after figuring out well, light, light this place up a little bit we got to see only after figuring out something about the eye right hello hey Am I supposed to get in you? I feel like this is a trap. Here we go. Oh. 
Ah! Long, ominous hallway. Okay. That's, that's fine with me. Did y'all like have one of these on your home world or something? Ooh. Ah! Is this the telescope that y'all saw? Can I light these? Hell yeah. Let's get some light in here, man. It's too dark, dingy, sad. Hello? Ooh. Oh. Be that it? The final projector? Honk. Oh, wow. Hello? This is uh, someone else's lantern, huh? Ooh, Jesus Christ. Ah! What you doing? You chill? Oh, you broke your antler. What happened, homie? You okay? Oh. Hello! Who are you? Ooh! It's a cool ability. Oh, are, hmm. are you like the one that told everyone to come here? Were you the first one that saw it and then they blamed you? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Okay. Homie's waking up. Oh. So he disabled. He's the one reason that we lost connection. Or rather, this vessel lost connection to the ship that went to the eye. Oh, he let it back out. Oh, God. And they hated him for doing that? I mean, fair enough, I guess. Huh. Okay. Um, uh, do I need to I need to set this down? A vision torch. What in the hell? Oh, do I need to keep holding it? Sorry. Ooh. Oh, is this me telling him? Oh. Yeah, the Nomai briefly heard that briefly heard the, the signal of the eye. And then they've quick warped to it, but they wound up in Brittle Hollow. Oh, that's a shame. Well, that's a rip.
And there we are! At least my civilization, that is. Oh, is that me? So anyway, uh, yeah, that's my story. Yep. Uh. Sad, uh. Oh. Artifact does not fit. Well, damn it, man. You gotta pick that shit up before you walked away from it. Uh. Wait a second. I'm. You gonna come back down for me, or what? I'm also dead. I don't know how that's gonna play into how things go here. Big Chief? Uh, was I supposed to be in there with you? Oh, no, okay, it's good. It's coming back down. Ooh. There we go. Okay. I was about to say, damn, bro. Way to screw me over. Looking back at your home world. Or I guess not your home world, like the planet that your moon was orbiting. There we are. What you doing, Big Chief? You getting out of here? You gonna restore my burnt, charred body? You out here, homie? Yeah, 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 you are. Oh. Well, you kind of... Why'd you blow out all my candles? What's, uh, what's the play here? Ah, I look into it, of course. Is this me and the homie? Um. Yeah, I mean that that's really cool. Um. So that got blown out. That was not, uh, I don't think, I didn't fall into the water or anything. <sighs> I am now confused. Cause that would mean the stranger or the prisoner is dead, right? Cause he, his, Everyone else like died and decayed, so he should have also died and decayed and just was just living in the simulation, right? Um, bah. Met one of the strangers' inhabitants who was prison within the vault. Prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions they took that result in their internal confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. Almost knocked that wet candle. Off. This is uh, just 
details on the forbidden archive. There's something still to find in Starlit Cove. Uh, well, that's weird. Okay. So there's more to explore in Starlit Cove. What could there possibly be, though? I've pretty much been everywhere. <sighs> well, now I'm now I'm confused. Cause like, is that the end of it? Or is there a way for me to get it while being alive? Because it feels like there should be a way for me to get it while being alive because there's a combination there. That little combination lock makes it seem like I should be able to do it. But I'm not... Like, there's nothing else in the DLC portion that says there's any additional information. Well, this place kept me scared, so I'm not exactly super excited to be <laughs> have to come back here and explore this area out of all of them. But, you know, I want to make sure that... Because what I definitely don't want to do is go and complete the game and realize that I've screwed something up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that would be very not cool. So the first thing that I want to check is... Why is this door shut? Am I tripping? That's weird. I never even noticed that before. Did I just... Did I light those on accident? I don't know. I can't remember. Alright, so I'm going to wish that into existence. And... Uh, I, I must have lit those on accident just now because I don't remember ever having to extinguish those candles before. But that is interesting that the candles play into the door. That makes me wonder if there's uh, another spot where knowing that could have helped. Another thing I'm thinking is that this game is pretty good about telling you like when there's something you still need to find somewhere. And... I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing. You know, like, am I missing nothing? It's just some minute detail. You know, some little extra puzzle piece that I've already solved. Or am I missing, like, something more important, like the code to the door? Or not the door. What am I talking about? The code to the passageway to turn those uh, bell ringy mouse traps off. Whoa. Um. Okay. I, um. That's weird. Can I get in there? What the hell is that? This is the behind. This is. Hold on. Y'all know where this is. Um, if I can find my way down the stairs. I'm in the Starlit Cove's Forbidden Archive. And apparently it's all glitch world behind there, but like... That doesn't really mean much for me. And I'm guessing, like, obviously that's going to extinguish my candle and kill me. Oh, I have more info? Wait, what? I reached the tower's upper floor by projecting a secret entrance into the back of the tower. Wait, what? I reached the tower's upper floors by projecting a path to a second entrance to the back of the tower. I've... Did I not already do that? Wait, what? Did I not already do that? That was just the, like, the scaffolding that you project onto the back of the tower, right? Wait, what? Am I misreading that? Hold on. I reached the tower's upper floors by projecting a path to a second entrance at the back of the tower. I 
I don't... I don't get it. I mean, did I do that, maybe, and then I... Like, got stuck, and so I, like, exited the loop? Like, quit the game? Because, like, you can do this and hit quit, and it'll uh, reset your current loop. So, that's, like, a convenient way to just start a new loop, but I assume you would lose any of the information you got during that loop. So, did, is that what I did? I'm, I'm really confused about that. But, the thing that I don't understand is that, there's a combination for each one and it just doesn't really make sense to me that that what we got was the end because I feel like I should be alive at the end. I could be misreading that. Uh, I don't know. I think, hmm, hold on. Okay, so I'm going back in at where the vault is. Um, is this good? Ow, my legs. Because I, I looked it up. Because I didn't want to have to spend hours and hours like searching the entire ring. And apparently, according to Reddit, there are no codes on the ring for these areas. Uh, but data miners did pull codes for them. So this first one is pretty obvious, right? It's one that we've done before. You situate the go in the simulation then situate the so that there's a bridge in front of you instead of nothing. Make your way across the bridge and then blow out that sigil. And I should just let you know, I am currently trying this while alive. I just dozed off in front of the fire. I did not stand in the fire. So that's the only code that we have, right? Because it was self-evident once you figured out how to uh go out of the simulation now this one according to reddit let's see let's see if this actually works here we got star sun planet fire and three-fourths lit moon that does bring it across now that's kind of an interesting one because that's not one that we uh, would need to be dead for, obviously, because we could just jump off at any point uh, with the boat loading screen. But oh, I'm glad I didn't fall there. That would have been annoying. And the second sigil is down. Now, this third one is the big kahuna that we actually like needed. And they are saying that it is the half lit moon, three fourths lit moon, planet. Uh, that one and then that and it shuts off the lights oh obviously yeah, I need to cover this don't I so then you can just make your way across no problem Boop. and then come around here and blow out the candle now I'm still alive and I'm about to see what's up with the prisoner so, the people in Reddit said that this didn't change the ending at all. It just... Can I remove this instead? Okay, good. Uh, it was exactly the same, which I'm assuming that means once we get over here and do our little exchange with the uh, prisoner, that our candle will be blown out. And then we'll just be woken up. So, I tried to ride the elevator up with him. It just put an invisible wall there. It wouldn't let me in with the same elevator that he was on, so nothing new there. And we coming out to him ext having extinguished all my friggin' candles. And I guess this is just like what a nice sentiment or something because it's not like I actually get in the boat and go exploring with him. Unless he's giving me like the memories of doing it. I don't know. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to symbolize except like maybe me and him having a good time together something like that i don't really know no i i guess that's it and i was waiting around my light didn't get extinguished oh well all right then um 
there you go. There's the changed ending. We get to see the, the corpse of the prisoner. Which is funny, actually, because some people in the Reddit post that I watched, or that I looked at, said, oh, it'd be cool if, like, you came out and you saw the, you know, the corpse of the guy or whatever. Um, I guess they didn't go to the right, <laughs> to the right fire. I don't know. Um, but that is interesting. Homie took a rip. I don't really think there's anything else for me to do. Because he's dead. I'm looking like I'm underwater for some reason. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess that's it. That's the one last piece that, uh, that you can look at. I suppose. I honestly don't know. I mean, unless I go... See, another weird thing is that... Oh, am I even going to be able to get back up here now that the water's drained away? Another thing that I don't really understand... Oh, I'm not going to be able to get up there. Oh, well, I'm going to go stand on the fire. But I don't understand why there's um, text around that you can't read. I mean, I guess there's not really that much text. Because it's only like on signs. I guess it means like... Entry, exit, do not enter, that kind of shit. And you never learn how to read it, which is... What the fuck? I didn't mean to come back here. God damn it, I forgot to set down the artifact. Well, that's open now. Has anything, like, changed in here? I don't know, I don't know why I'm trying to, to see. But it's interesting that that was... At least at the time that Reddit post was made, was not obvious. It wasn't, uh... Okay, fucking... If that information is somewhere on the map, it is very well hidden. To the point that it's not even mentioned in the ship's log. Which is highly unusual. Uh, which makes me think that it was an ending that's like... It was a path that was scrapped in development. Like people on Reddit were saying. Yeah, and I mean, there's a thing. Probably empty. There's his vision stick. Well, time to take the big L. I don't know, man. Um, It seems more likely that that was like an ending or a path that was scrapped. Because um, it just doesn't make sense to have the combination locks there. And so you would think like, yeah, there's a combination somewhere to turn off the lights. But there's not. I don't know. I digress. If there's some other alternate version of um, of this ending to the DLC, I'm not sure what it is. But what I do know is that there's an ending to this game right here, which we are about to go do. We took a few precautions. Let's double check. Is there anything special here? Nope. Nothing at all. Alright, well, it seems like we've completed the DLC, so I am going to run over to the Ash Twin Project, wait on the Ash Twin, <laughs> and wait for that, uh, whatever you call it, the tower to pop up over the sand, that way, come on, baby, mm, there we go, wait for the tower to pop up over the sand, and uh, try to teleport into the core of the Ash Twin Project. I proceeded to try to get the warp core, make it past the anglerfish, and get to the vessel for over an hour. So I'm going to save us both a lot of time and a lot of frustration and just skip to the part where I made it to the vessel. Enjoy. That's right, you big fuck. I what has been a few second transition for you has been about 45 minutes to an hour for me long story short because I have had a rough time getting back to the vessel getting into the core getting the warp core and getting through the anglerfish minefield. Now, 
I do not want to sour this playthrough with any griping. However, I just want to humbly ask, what was your experience like with the last puzzle of the game? Where you have to go into the Ash Twin Project and get the warp core and get it to this ship. What was that like for you? Was it casual or was it a little frustrating? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But, like I said, I don't want to sour anything. So, we are finally approaching the uh, final section of the game. Pop that bad boy in there. That restored gravity. Bonk. Okay, wait. Let's just, let's just donk. There we go. Oh, that's right. I got to do this thing, don't I? And put that there. There we go. Okay. Oh! That's nice. They put the I coordinates in the lower part of the screen. Uh, what was it? That. Uh, up there. Oh. It's made it easy. Just rotate it. Boop, 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 whoop. There we go. And last one. That should do it for us. we achieve the impossible whoa yes sir we have okay my god now I was told before I forget to peer around with my signal scope not sure exactly where I'm supposed to be looking I think can't I uh no. Oh, there we go. Let me kind of look around. It said there was a bit of an Easter egg. I believe that's supposed to be our home star, but I don't think that's what I was talking about. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, of course. That's the... That's the th um, the thing that was containing the eye. The signal of the eye. Oh, that's really cool. That's a really cool detail. Oh, I really like that. Alright, well. Let's put that away so we don't hear the echoes of the damned. And uh, if my memory serves, grab that, slip it on around there, bonk, whoa, let's go, oh, where's the quantum moon, oh, it's gone, and, yep, there's the ship, oh, that's kind of cool to look at, fascinating, alright, so, okay, I still have a ways to go, now you may remember, I uh, have played this before, and I believe most of you here have probably seen the base gameplay. So I will be bypassing a few of the intricacies, just because I think most of us have seen them before. Do wish there was a sprint button, but that's okay. This is a really interesting section. Or not interesting, but uh, just cool. It was just cool, man. Because... It's just trippy. One thing I can say for this game is that visually it's just amazing. They must have worked a very long time to get not only like just make it pretty, but to really get those gravity effects and like the quantum effects going. They must have had to put some serious work into that. So, like they did with the rest of the game. So. Ah! Alright, should be, yep, approaching the South Pole. If I just keep my flashlight on. Now, something that I did last time, in the last time I got this ending, but it, it didn't count, was I shot... Connection with Scout is lost. Okay, see, I lost connection with my Scout, but it didn't do the thing in the end where it, like, showed the Scout going across the screen. So we'll see if we can't get that this time. Connection with Scout is lost. Alright, cool. That's good. We meant to do that. Don't worry, buddy. I'll see you in a few billion years. 
Uh, uh, whoa. Now this part. Oh, this is freaking weird. Any signals? This that's some interstellar level shit. That's kind of creepy. I'd rather not have fucking woken up to that. But um, so like I said, kind of skipping the intricacies unless there's something new here from the DLC. But I don't think there is. If there is, that's awesome. But pass. Okay. Ooh. Observe. Yeah. Flashlight? No, no flashlight. Oh, that's right. I remember this part. So we go down to the woods, baby. It's interesting how they balance this ending portion of the game with... they. I think they really capture what good mystery and unknown stuff is. It's a this mix of beauty and it's scary. Because it bounces back and forth in this, this ending of this game. Because this is pretty and it's got the pretty music. But then after a while... Uh, am I supposed to be on a certain frequency here? Oh, I can only be on one frequency. All right, then. Yep, still lost. Whoopsie. But yeah, like in a second, it's going to get all weird and dark. And it's like, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's scary. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's terrifying. So we should, though, from reading this correctly, have a little extra visitor at our campfire our beloved prisoner who if he's not there i'm gonna be very upset but he should be there because we completed the dlc i didn't get an achievement for it but we completed the dlc hello um i don't really remember what i'm supposed to be doing Oh, wait, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember. Uh. Ah! Oh. See what I'm talking about? Now it's creepy and weird. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Now it's nice and warm again. And I'm happy. Isn't this the part where... Yep, he shows up. Scared the shit out of me the first time. Am I supposed to keep looking around? Oh, Jesus, mate! Do you hear music? I don't. Oh, now I do. Oh, Gabbro. Gabbro is my favorite. Or at least his instrument. And him as like a character. I, I really enjoyed. Whoopsie, there's little gravity here. Where be the the part of the wall I'm supposed to like? Wait, let us, oh, well, all right. Hup. Yeah, I like that. Favorite instrument. And do I have to like check in with them every time? Oh, what's up, Holmes? It's uh, not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know everyone no rush take your time might not even exist here so the question is that like is that actually gabbro or is that just like my memory's rendition of gabbro because this is like the quantum jesus christ that scared me too that scared the shit out of me too oh fuck bastard give me that damn harmonica Yeah, is that our boy? Mm. 
Y'all had some pretty music, man. What are you gonna be, the lantern? Wait, where, where, where you at? Oh. Um. Ooh. Uh, you want me to? Ah, uh, you want me to take a dive? All right, sounds good. doing here oh is this like is this like me and the prisoner actually i don't know because that's no mine as well hey bud you want to uh open up oh I... ah well they're gone and they're all gone and they're gone too great hey it's me nothing weird's gonna happen is it Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's uh, it's pretty pretty weird. There's someone behind me. Ooga booga. Yeah, that's that's right, motherfucker. Anyway, that was terrifying. I'm just gonna go collect everyone else now. <sighs> Do we have everyone together? Oh, come on, homie. You can pull up a seat. Hey, whoa, you can sp speak my language now. When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult, the truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right. Yet I am still of my kind, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so, a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Wow. I'm not ready to decide. Are you kidding me, bro? Join us. Come on. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. I am. I am. Get over there by the fire, homie. It's nice to... Ah, there you are. Right back. Should I begin? Uh, Yeah, homie, kick it off. I'll do my best. That's all you can do, mate. Conscious observers enter the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Uh, Yes. Song is new to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it. Start the music. Let's go, everybody. Come on, Esker blow that shit. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Hell yeah. Then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. I love that, man. Oh, his part's so pretty. Is that everyone? I believe that's everyone. Unless it's not, and I'm just... I'm fucking roasting a marshmallow for no reason. Can I get everyone? Get you? Oh, hell yeah. And see, now we're back to being ominous and creepy. Uh, here goes nothing. That's the ending I remember to love, baby. 14.3 billion years later.
Oh, it's so pretty. I think the blue lake is from inviting the prisoner to sit with us. I'm not sure what every single element is. Whoa, okay, no, that must be from the prisoner. Dang. There he is! There's our boy! Oh, uh, yeah. I, I don't know which one's which from which elements of doing whatever. Ah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, man. I loved every part of that DLC. That was fantastic. Uh, I, like off the top of my head, I can't think of anything from the DLC that was frustrating or irritating really in any way. Uh, because it was also self-contained, you know, within one environment, it was much easier to like put pieces together than it was in the base game because in the base game stuff is spread out across the entire solar system, but Wow. Fantastic. Ah, I'm so happy that they released a DLC. I'm so happy that I got a chance to revisit this game in the capacity, like, because obviously this is a game that, by nature of how it, like, it loops, once you beat it once, you can beat it in one go. And there's not a whole lot of replay value unless you want to go back and, like, make sure you got absolutely everything. But them adding a DLC gave me the opportunity to come back and actually play the game because two years ago when i first recorded this uh, the base game like i recorded the first episode and i was just was at a spot in my life where i was not into making videos like i just didn't, felt i didn't have the energy to do it and that that's a whole bag to unpack uh, so we can talk about that another time but i got i recorded like my first hour of gameplay and like the ending of the game. And there was just so much in the middle that I did by myself that I didn't put into a video. So I'm very thankful that I was given the opportunity to revisit this amazing game and actually play through and have a new experience and get to record it and share it with all of you. That's amazing, awesome. Big thank you to the devs, big praise to the devs. This DLC was great. And I know a lot of you disagree with me about how there should be more DLC to it. Um, and I definitely see what you're talking about, about how the nature of the game is to just experience what you have when you have it and then let it go. Um, but, you know, I just, I, I gotta be honest, maybe it's a little bit selfish, but I just want to experience more new things in this game. But the other part of me wanting more DLC would be to give a reason to re-advertise this game like every few years and it's like i said make it more of a games as a service thing where you have a reason to revisit every few years I, like i said i know some of y'all disagree and that's totally cool um, but one of the things that i would want is for there to be introducing that dlc every few years and that would pull more people like they'd see oh outer wilds yeah i heard of that game two four six years ago yeah oh they have a new dlc hmm well i'm gonna get on and i'm gonna play that and that way they keep the game alive and more people can experience it that's mainly what i what i think of when i think of introducing more dlc over the course of time but whether they introduce more dlc or this is the last dlc to ever be witnessed in this game very thankful for it very thankful for the base game itself very thankful to the devs for providing such an experience and of course very thankful to all of you for tuning in and enjoying this journey with me thank you all very much for your kind words for your hints for your nudges in the right direction those were invaluable to me so again thank you i feel like how us as a character in the game got to experience all of the main characters and all of our friends around a campfire in the very end is kind of how I feel with all of you watching this series and just playing it by myself but not playing it by myself you know what I mean I think you all get what I'm saying so again thank you all very much for tuning in greatly greatly appreciate it let me know what you think of this final episode down in the comments below if you want to discuss any theories or anything like that that's totally cool now because obviously completed this part of the game 
So feel free to discuss and talk about whatever you want. Let me know if I missed something, anything like that. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic time of the year. Hope you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. Please remember to stay happy, stay healthy, eat lots of food, and drink lots of water. And I will see you all here next time. Bye-bye, everybody.